Viewer discretion is advised. Steve Harvey. He has been crowned king of the coons. Steve Harvey is a fraud. He's a sellout. I saw the interview that he did with Monique. And it's just a crying shame the way black people sell each other out for the almighty dollar. He told her in layman's turn that if you don't bow down, you're not getting in. And Steve basically told on himself that he would do anything to get in. We all know about those casting couches and the homosexuality that goes on in Hollywood. And he was willing to do it. For four million hour, yeah, you would take it with no grease. You would wear a strap on backwards. There's no telling what you wouldn't do for four million. That's because you have no integrity. And this is the big shocker. It's just a matter of time before your handlers separate you from your millions and going to throw your ass back out on the streets. The way you slid up under Bernie Mac was just a damn shame. And when I was watching that interview with Monique, it finally clicked on her that your ass was a sellout. And now you acting all against like, what? What'd I do? Bitch, you know what you did. We black out here. And if we don't kiss no ass, they're not going to let us in. So go kiss some ass and get the millions and damn what everybody else got to say. Well, some people do have what's called integrity and courage. They're going to stand on what they believe in. And I'm a big fan of Monique because of her courage. And she refused to bow down to the bullshit, man. And instead of you supporting her, yeah, baby, man, try to get yours. Get all what you think you deserve. You trying to get her to sell out. I guess when you made an ass out of yourself in that Miss America pageant, and your handler scolded the hell at you, you had to do what you can, what you must, to remain in the club. And that's called setting out. One thing I have been noticing since Michael Vick and Ray Lewis and these cats, when they get in some trouble, in order to remain in the spotlight, they have to throw black people up under the bus. They have to regurgitate these white supremacist talking points. I know this man is not ashamed of himself because he's expressed it so many times that he's willing to do, do anything for money. I'm just hoping that all black people from here on out will shun these damn coons. Quit hoping and praying that these coons going to turn around because they are not going to turn around. You know, I'm from the old school. There's only one thing that can make these damn coons turn their ass around. You got it? A good ass whooping. And Steve, I don't think have had his ass whooping. If he had, he hasn't had it lately. And it's time for a refresher course. And I'm hoping that somebody will give it to him. You know what? And if he keep on doing what he's doing, it's going to be one of these black women's to whoop his butt. Because Steve, one of them dudes out for the projects, he think he hard. But how you gonna be front like your heart on TV sobbing? Man, wipe your mouth off. 
And I'm just getting sick and tired of all this. We have been bombarded with coonery and buffoonery. And it's time for all of this crap to stop. And what is going to happen one way or another? Everybody know you're cooning. And I know that everybody is pissed off about it. But I can see Monique now when she get a hold of your ass. Bam! On your head. Stop crying, sucker.